My gosh, my gosh. You know, when it came to, like, Funimation and Sony and Crunchyroll, Anime Lab, like, that whole big situation where, like, you know, all this stuff fused together to become, like, one big anime streaming company. And then we're just like, okay. And then that just all turned into Crunchyroll. Like, Funimation services all went into Crunchyroll. And now, like, Crunchyroll is, like, this mega app continually growing by getting more Funimation stuff. And, of course, Funimation before that had Anime Lab stuff. Well, it's kind of crazy because, uh, Sony's teaming up with other companies to make something even bigger when it comes to an anime company. That's crazy. Mr. Bean, yeah, I need to regenerate. I'm about to go off like I'm the Avatar State, and I can say. All right, guys, you heard right. Like a bigger, a bit like Sony's just going crazy when it comes to like what they want with anime, their power in the anime industry, and all of that. And then when it comes to this, we've got basically two sources to pick from. We've got Crunchyroll, and we've got. A lesser source, which is comicbook.com, however, I will be reading from them both because, you know, more information the better so we can know all this stuff. But first, from Crunchyroll, they say, and I quote, Animation Studios, Cloverworks, and Wit Studio, publisher Shueisha, and Sony Media subsidiary Aniplex, announced today the establishment of a new company called Joe N for planning and producing animation works including TV series, feature films, and short clips. Let's stop right there. The end quote right there. Okay, first of all, Cloverworks and Wit Studio. Those are like some mega animation studios when it comes to producing anime wit studios kind of mainly been working with netflix right now so this is kind of interesting if you guys don't know who they are there they are the first original animation studio when it came to attack on titan and it switched off to studio mappa for season four shueisha i do i need to explain who shueisha is shueisha Oh my gosh, the most, probably, arguably, the most major company in anime and manga. Like, it's like, think of an anime or manga, it probably comes from that company. Like, all of Shonen Jump, everything of the jumps, all of the jumps, like, comes from Shueisha. Shueisha owns them all. Like, it's like, just look at the game Jump Force. Every single thing in Jump Force they own and more just like it's crazy it, it's it's crazy do you know how much anime and manga franchises series they own they own many most of them okay oh wow their main competitors kodansha they're the ones that own things like you know seven deadly sins and things like that however you know in fairy tale attack on Titan, you know there's a there's a lot they're their main competitor but shueisha shueisha is crazy man and then of course sony Sony with the Aniplex, Crunchyroll, Funimation. Yes, they're, they're going crazy. And all of these companies teaming up right now for a new thing called Joen. Okay, let's just continue with what Crunchyroll says. Okay, they say, and I quote, an official website was opened with Japanese and English versions detailing the company's purpose. The name Joen is taken from three different Japanese words with that reading. A support role, aiding smooth facilitation, support through connection, while the three lines emphasizing join in the logo are inspired by the legend of the three arrows, a Japanese symbol of unity and teamwork. By bringing the four companies closer together, Joen states it seeks to establish a better framework and creative environment for the industry that will ensure quality is maintained while the people involved are prioritized across all levels of production, including directing profits back to them. According to the statement on the Joen website, this will involve collaborating with various studios, producers, and creators to match the best production lines and creators to each project rather than moving all processes through just one company 
Do you guys understand <laughs> how insane this is? Oh my goodness, this is like, wow. So it's like, it's not just the studios involved, not just the companies involved, but they will be reaching out to other studios to be working with them. So they create like, kind of like an umbrella of just branches, if that makes sense, an umbrella tree. It's just an umbrella over all these studios and companies with branches connecting to other studios and companies. Wow. Anyway, comicbook.com says, the anime industry has grown bounds in the last five years and its sales speak for themselves. More international fans are binging anime than ever before and the market is growing saturated with titles. Of course, this means some series get lost in the noise and that is why several of the industry's leaders are creating a joint company to streamline their next anime hit. According to the reports, Joen Company is being founded with a specific objective in mind. The business will work on planning television anime series, anime films, and shorts. Joen will oversee everything from development to production and finalization as it coordinates talent across its founding brands. Joen Company was also created in the hopes of equalizing the anime industry in some small way. It is no secret that the industry suffers from its share of issues ranging from low wages to unpaid overtime. Work conditions have been scrutinized more and more over the years, but Joen Company hopes to address the issue. The company says it wants to provide a streamlined business model for its founding brands. This will help profits undergo more even distribution among staff, creators, and the animation crew. As for its higher-ups, Joen Company is being led by Cloverworks producer Yuchi Fukushima and with studio producer Tetsuya Nakatake. The pair are leading as representative directors as Joen Company gets on its feet. For those unfamiliar with either of these artists, Fukushima is known best for their work on The Promised Neverland and Fate Grand Order. Nakatake worked on each season of Attack on Titan under Wid Studio as well as Sengoku Basada and Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. Okay guys, I know that was a big mouthful, but I was reading from both those articles. I'm like, I'm really kind of like in this major surprise of what's going on. Now, of course, this new company isn't it's all owned by Sony, like of course Funimation, Crunchyroll were, are, <laughs> but Sony's still a major part of this and it's like, Wow, we'll see what this ha happens with Crunchyroll. I think it like actually kind of benefits the idea of Crunchyroll keeping around like their anime originals, producing more anime originals. But then again, it might not because all the originals might be coming straight from Joen, you know, this new company. So because their major thing right now, it looks like is producing new anime content, but It'll probably most likely have some sort of benefit when it comes to Sony services, you know, but we'll have to wait and see. But what's left to do is just ask you, what do you think about this crazy situation? Good? Bad? Bad? Good? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. My name's Konjic. I love you, and I'll talk to you in the next video. And I can say that I'm great, yeah, I can say that I'm perfect I ain't the one that was out here saving lives, I was purchased Now we about to take you out if you try to act toxic I'ma send you straight up to my main man, Conjit, Conjit, Conjit